What's going on guys, it's Munem here and welcome back to another Striker game analysis video where I analyze every touch that I take through the game. Of course, we all know the importance of game analysis and how it can help to take your game to the next level. And now, without further saying, let's get into the video. So today we're playing against Dubai City FC and if you guys want to see the full highlights for this game, I recorded a game day vlog on that day and the match highlights will be in that video. So I will leave a link to the card and also in the description. Uh, my team is playing red, so as you guys can see, we're playing in the formation 3-5-2. Sometimes the left and the right mid drop back to make it 5-3-2. So it all depends on the situation, 3-5-2 or 5-3-2. And the opponent, um, they're playing 4-1-3-2 or 4-4-2, also depends on the situation. Um, but yeah, that's the formation of my team and the opponent's team as well. And right now, let's get into the first action. So I take the kickoff, ball comes to the center back, center back plays it over to the left center back and then that player decides to drive a bit with the ball. Now you guys can see me right there already appearing in that space, in that free space. Um, and then the left center back plays it to the left mid and right now I notice that I'm on the same passing line as that center mid. So I decide to move outside on the line where I can give an option to that left mid to play me the ball down the line. Um, and also not be on the same passing line with the center mid. So the left mid decides to dribble and then play the ball to the center mid and then I'm already on the line ready to receive the ball. I get the ball right there, try to put an outside the foot cross in the box but the ball doesn't go where I want it to but it's fine, it's a good action, good start and a good build up. The next action, the ball comes to our left mid. The second he takes a touch, I'm already making a run outside to give him an option. So he takes that touch, takes down the right mid and then passes the ball to me. I control it with my back leg, drive forward and then do a step over to the right and try to curve the ball inside the box. It was cleared by the center back. We get the second ball and then try to attack again but from the right side. The right mid does a great job there. One against one with the full back, takes him down and then drives forward, tries to put the ball inside the box. It was cleared again by their center back and we get a throw in. That's a great action because in 20 seconds we were able to attack from the left and the right side and also get the second ball which shows great team positioning and also get to keep the ball because it was a throw in for us. Moving on to the next action, it was a throw in for the opponent, cleared forward by our center mid and me and the second striker put pressure right there and I get my head on the ball, comes to the second striker and throws the ball forward for me and makes a run inside the box and right now as you guys can see I don't have any options um, but then the striker decides to come close and there's a misconnection between me and him with that pass right there. Um, but then we apply pressure and try to recover the ball. It was a good action from the beginning. Me and the second striker trying to get a touch on that cleared ball and to make a counterattack. And that's what happened at the end when you're close to the box or in the box. It's all about decisions and just analyze them and see if you could have taken a better decision. Maybe driving into the box or just setting the ball back and starting from the beginning or maybe switching the game. So it's all about decisions, of course, depending on the situation. And let's get into the next action. So in the next action, the ball comes to the right center back and then he decides to play the ball down through the middle to our center mid. Center mid turns and decides to switch the game to our left mid. Now there's a problem in my positioning. As you guys see, I'm right there. I should drop and appear in that space. So maybe I can give an option for the striker to make a run behind me because I'm going to man at one center back or one defender. Um, or maybe just let the left mid will play me the ball. I will just set it back and maybe we can switch it to our right mid. So the problem in my positioning was I didn't appear in space. I just kept holding my position. Um, and that's something that we need to all learn is sometimes appear in space. Don't be in the space. No, you have to appear and just, you know, do it very fast so that the opponent doesn't even expect you make that move. Um, so you can have time and give you also your teammates time if you want to set the ball back to them um, so they don't be under pressure right away. So that's a great action, something to learn for me um, and hopefully for you guys as well as appearing in space um, and that's very important. And as you guys can see, the left mid played the ball back to the center back because he didn't have options, I didn't appear in space. Um, so he just played it back and we kept the ball and let's get into the next action. So the ball is with their goalkeeper, he passes it to the right back and I quickly block the pass back with the center back and the keeper so he can't go back and he's forced to go into one direction which is forward and I put pressure on him, he loses the ball, ball comes to our second striker um, and the second striker sees me, I'm free right there to get the ball, passes the ball to me and as you guys can see our center attacking midfielder is already asking the ball behind that center back's back so I take a touch with the ball forward and I quickly pass it outside to him, he tries to put the ball in the box, it was cleared by the center back and we get the second ball, we try to take a shot it was blocked by their center back and ball comes to our center attacking midfielder but he was an offside position uh, but it's a good connection you guys see how the center attacking midfielder took my role once I moved up and I was putting pressure on that right back and then he asked the ball behind the center backs back and we we're on the same page I passed the ball to him 
uh, but we get unlucky in the box but it's fine it's a good action and positioning from the team moving on to the next action the ball comes to our left center back he plays it to our left mid and you guys can see me right there already trying to appear in space to give an option to our left mid he tries to dribble passes the ball to me and continues to make a one on the line and i just wait for the perfect timing and i pass him the ball again and he just drives with it and plays a strong ground ball to our second striker and the second striker gets unlucky right there but it's a good connection between me and the left mid and that's a perfect example of appearing in space as you guys saw just a small change in the action and we almost scored the goal previously when i didn't appear in space our left mid had to play the ball back to our center back and we had to move the ball all over again now yes that can be an option when it's too crowded on one side and we have to switch the game but whenever you notice an opportunity for you to drop receive the ball and make a great action out of it then do it in the next action the ball comes to our center back he plays it to the center mid and you guys can see me right there dropping and managing the center back to create a free space for the second striker behind me and our center mid notices that free space he plays the ball to him we're all on the same page and just a bad touch right there but it's okay it's a good action good understanding and that's something very important for strikers to learn is sometimes you're going to drop man at a player or two and the ball's not going to be for you the ball's going to be in the space that you created for your teammate to make a run behind you and get the ball there so sometimes you might drop and not get the ball and that's fine because you're creating space for your teammate to make a run behind you and the next action the ball's with our center mid he plays a long ball for the left mid and our left mid gets to it right there as you guys can see i'm on the line of the box um, and then our left mid sets the ball again back to our center mid he takes a first touch cross inside the box um, and then good connection between me and the striker right there he sets it for me i take a shot and it's just blocked by the defender nothing much to say about this action but what's important is patience guys don't get inside the box too early because then you'll be marked by the center backs and of course don't get in there too late i was just holding my position on the line of the box knowing that the second striker is inside the box and he knows that I'm just waiting for the second ball so that I can shoot it and then he just gets the ball sets it for me and I take a shot so good connection again and don't forget guys patience and this is my first goal of the game our keeper plays the ball to our left mid and the left mid doesn't see any options forward so he just plays the ball back to our left center back and then we just switch the ball from the left center back to our center back and then to the right center back and as you guys can see the center mid is giving options right there between lines our center back plays the ball to him and just passing here through the middle and then great pass from our center mid for our right mid and right mid does a great job to get to the ball there he puts in a cross and it gets a little bit messed up there but i just get my foot on it at the end and i score the goal so that's my first goal in the game and it was a great team goal and right now i'm going to show you guys the replay of the action to show you how i got rid of my mark and as you guys can see right there i'm between a center back and a center mid i'm just jogging towards the box our right mid takes a touch and now the second i feel he's going to take that cross i change my pace i run towards the first post he takes the cross and you guys can see me right there maybe i'm a second or even less than a second um, ahead of that center back so i can take the touch and it's also important that you communicate with your right mid your left mid and your wingers and you practice that in training so in the game he always Already knows you're gonna make a one towards the first post he's just gonna throw the ball for you right there and you already inside the box know that he's gonna put the ball in the first post and you just make a one a change of pace to that first post so you can just tap the ball and put it in of course you can't do that all the time in the game you have to be unpredictable but you can do it sometimes and i'm sure it will get you a goal the next action the balls that were left center back as you guys can see i'm right there i just tried to appear down the line to give him a passing line option he passes the ball to me i turn it's too crowded right there so i want to switch the ball because i know that the free players on the other side I switch it, a missed touch right there from our sentiment, but good effort to try to get it back. But I went out and it's a throw in for the opponent. But that's something that we've been practicing since the beginning of the season is switching the ball whenever it's too crowded on one side because always the free player will be on the other side. So we do it very quickly and try to attack from that side where the free player is. And in this action, we were able to do it. And even though that sentiment missed the touch, it was a good concept, it was a good idea. And we just have to get it right next time. The next action, as you guys can see, I'm right there. And right now, the right center back is going to get the ball. The first thing I'm going to do is block the pass back with that center back so they can't switch the game and they're forced to play in one direction. Great team positioning. Our center attacking midfielders with that center mid. Our center mid is with the other center mid. And the left mid is ready to put pressure on that right back the second he gets the ball. So I quickly change of pace, put pressure. Uh, the ball comes to the right back. I continue the pressure very quickly, recover the ball, pass it back, and keep the ball. And that was a great team positioning and we recovered the ball the next action the ball is with our center back he's driving forward and he tries to play the ball down for me it was a bad pass but our left mid gets to it he drives forward and as you guys can see i'm outside the picture right now uh, but i took his position as a left mid because he was driving forward 
Um, ball comes back to our center back, and our left mid doesn't move right there through the middle. He gets the ball, um, takes a touch, and then passes the ball to me right there. So I take a touch, and as you guys can see, my options are either playing the ball back to our center back or play it down through the middle to that center mid. I take the second option, play it to him. Um, he tries to do a skill right there, but loses the ball. But great team pressure. We get the ball back, and we get to keep it. But something to learn from this action is, for example, here, the left mid was forced to cut in in order to get to the ball. So I quickly changed positions with him, and I hold his position as a left mid and he took my position as a striker and at the end you guys saw what happened the ball came to me in the left mid position and that's something that you have to learn is whenever your teammates take over your position don't go and just follow them and do the same action as what he's doing no instead cover for them as a team and let him do the pressure and then when the ball is out you guys can swap positions again and you go to your original position moving on to the next action the balls that were sent to mid he plays it to the left mid and the second the left mid takes a touch i'm already making a run outside managing this player and this player as well as you guys we'll see right now so our left mid reads that and knows that there will be an open space in the middle he drives forward takes a cross um, and that was cleared by the center back the ball comes to our right mid and our right mid dribbles right there as you guys can see and at the end and he gets tackled inside the box and that's how we got a penalty in the game and that's how i scored my second goal in this game The next action is also the team putting pressure in order to recover the ball. So we force them to go in one direction. I sprint towards that right back in order to recover the ball. He drives forward. He loses the ball. Ball comes to our center mid. He plays it to the striker. And we get a counterattack right there. So it's the same action as the one I already showed you guys um, about putting pressure and getting close together, forcing them to go in one space and then just trapping them and recovering the ball. So we got a counterattack. Um, we didn't score, but it was a good action. And the last action of the game, it's a throw for the opponent. As you guys can see, I'm right there and I'm just communicating with my teammates about how we defend the throw in. So they play the throw in. It was recovered by our sentiment. Our sentiment turns, plays the ball to me, and I get my foot on it. And then I just try to dribble, drive forward, and just try to push forward with the ball. I get past these two center backs. And then I'm under pressure from another center back. He's blocking the passing line with that left mid. So I can't play the ball to him. So I just took the decision of shooting outside the foot and it was saved by the keeper. And at the end, as I told you guys, whenever you're in the box or next to the box, it's all about decisions. And that's why I analyze my games in order to see what could I have done better. And that's why I also analyze other professional players playing in my position as a striker and see what would they do in this situation or also in other situations. And I just try to improve. And we all know the importance of game analysis and how it can have an impact on your career and your game. And that's why I share videos like this. For me as a striker, I might be helping a couple of strikers out there that are watching my videos. And let's say you're a fullback, then you can watch Matt Sheldon analyzing his games or you can just look up to professional players playing in your positions and see what they do in different situations and write them down and analyze them and then try to apply them in your game and hopefully that will help you in your career and game and I hope you're learning something from these videos and if you're enjoying them make sure to hit the thumbs up subscribe if not already subscribe and drop me down in the comments if you have any questions so I can answer them in the next video all right guys peace Be